Greetings, keepers, and welcome back to exactly where we left off in the last episode with the raising of Apple Fumble, the Skeleton King. Welcome to the lair, Apple Fumble. I have great, great expectations for you. Please don't let us down like our very recently deceased vampire warriors, though I feel that it wasn't entirely their fault that they drowned and it was more some blunder of the partially uh, rotting brain that we stuck inside their heads. Ah, uh, the air pathfinding. Ah, uh, what a, what a trip that was. Okay, now, next up, I would like to make a juggernaut, but I don't really know what a juggernaut and a slasher are. They... I mean, one would assume they are automatically undead, but not all undead are vulnerable to the, the daylight. So, I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to make a juggernaut that, if all else fails, can live here. Oh, I forgot to get rid of these in the end. My bad. Let me uh, remove those. Punk. There we are. Now, what should we give this juggernaut, though? I'm thinking... A... Let's not go with this. I could give them wings so they, they don't have to uh, r run the risk of drowning. But let's, let's avoid that for now. It says that it has training limit. So we could give them two melee um, potions and then maybe extra arms. Or we could give them extra head to make them less vulnerable to getting the head chopped off and then becoming completely useless. I mean, there's eight corpses, but at the same time, is that really that much of an issue? I wonder. No, I think what we're going to do is... Let's have a look. Uh, we could go with extra arms for the extra potential of doing damage. And then... Yeah. Yeah, let, let, let's go with that. And I think we've got all of the parts that we're going to need for that. So, extra arms and two melee trainings. All right, let's find out who our dragon lord is. I'm uh, so, so terribly sad. Uh, sadly, we do not have enough body parts to be able to create another, uh, another skeleton king. But we're not far off it. Vulnerable to sunlight. Okay, that's what I was worried about. All right. So, given that, oh, so many fingers that aren't going to get any rings on them. Well, this juggernaut is going to be staying in the base to protect. And the final name... Right, Felix... Uh, sorry, Phoenix Talia. Welcome! Phoenix Talia, the juggernaut. Uh, I hope very much that you do great things. Right, shimmy in here. And you can stand right there. And same for you. Let's get in there and lock that door. Right, you two are good to go. Leave. Thank you. Right. Okay. Well, I think making a juggernaut that is fun, uh, not vulnerable to the night. That being said, though, that's a big, that's a big loss for it, really. When you think about it, let's have a look at what you can try and. Yeah, you can just go do training, you can do rituals, eating, sleeping, etc, etc. Alright, well, uh, go and train, hopefully. What is your training limit? Your limit is 18, with only two. Uh, sorry, oh, only, was it, uh, yeah, only two melee training buffs. So, uh, that's actually not too bad. You're going to have some pretty solid damage output. And that's without any armor whatsoever. That's very, very interesting. It's so... So vexing, though, that you lost the adamantite. Um, or that we lost the adamantite, rather. All right, well, let's get you some better equipment. you got two arms, so you may as well have two amazing items. Who's that? Probably not evil friend. So we'll give that one to you as well. Can I give you a bow? It doesn't look like I can. Much sadness there. Uh, but I can give you a decent enough... Iron Shield. In terms of the helms, uh, Skeleton Archers, I know, you really want it, but you can't. That is way, way too valuable, I'm afraid. Uh, the gloves as well. We'll also get some armor, no doubt. Yep. And the boots. Alright, so we were able to, to re-equip some of it. Now, this is going to make 
an impossibly dangerous juggernaut. Outside of training, I would like you to guard zone 2, which is this zone. Now in the future, the next juggernaut we make, we will make for going out. That being said, having them hang out in here is probably fine as well. Can you equip anything? No. You, you are literally just a uh, lump of heads, mostly, with a couple of wings. Alright, well, time for us to head on out then and, and seek our vengeance. Uh, I would like you to join this group. There we go. Where are we going to go then? I think we should head out and deal with the Hydra as quickly as we can. So let's control, evil friend. Rally the troops. So, so many of them. Oh, I am not controlling the team. I am controlling just evil friend. Right, there we go. Let's rally the troops. There we are. And are there any bandits waiting by? No. Good. Now, everyone here except for the skeletal warrior... Actually, hmm. Let's exit control mode. We're going to make a separate team, I think. I've learned my lesson. Right, separate team. Skeletal King's going to come along. And all the, the flying skeletal archers. That's probably still more than enough to deal with whatever we're going to face. So... I think we, we should be good. There we are. And control. Now, the nice thing about that is it does mean that we leave the uh, the skeletal warriors to defend the base. All right, then, Hydra. Got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> oh, that hurts. All right, let's find out where you are. Oh. Um, why? You disheartened a spider by reading bad poetry. I see. Who's attacking? Uh, Cornelia the Witch has been destroyed. Right, you Well, Cornelia the Witch, that was all on you. I would have been okay letting you live, frankly. More witches in the world, better it is. But sadly, you have to go and pick a fight. Right, we're going to properly explore this whole place. The tribe of Lizardmen is destroyed. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to have to face the Lizardmen as a main villain very soon, so uh, seeing that is fills me with great happiness. Now, as you can probably already guess, death waits for us inside there. That is where the Hydra is. So, uh, sadly, probably not that useful to bring the archers, in fact. Right, well, I know where you are. Okay, buff. Everyone. Actually, I'm going to switch leader here. Oh, thank goodness you can actually see it. Let's go for it. You bite the Hydra. The Hydra's head is bitten off. Good start. The Hydra starts bleeding. You kick the Hydra. The Hydra's neck is broken. The Hydra bites you. The attack is harmless. The Hydra is disheartened. The Hydra is bleeding. Try bleeder. Killing will stop immigration. One injured head. One lost head. Bleeding. Unhappy. Resistant to ranged. Swimmer. Poison resistant. Flanked. Defense reduced by 6%. Yeah. I mean, you've got some pretty nice uh, stats. Oh, I wonder what kind of skeletal um, juggernaut we could make if we uh, were to use a Hydra head to make it. That's incredibly... In Skeletal's archers damage wings? What? Uh, did someone die? Please tell me that isn't so. Regardless, though, I think we've uh, cleared out this area. <sighs> we lost those. <laughs> For, ah, that's so frustrating. But okay, that went quite well. Switching back to you as the leader. Let's head on to the next location then. Uh, where are we going next? I don't feel like taking on a main villain, so how about we go and say hello to an unknown ally? Once again, it's the middle of the day, but that's not going to be an issue for us. We're permanently uh, casting darkness around us. And the archers can slay pretty much anything that moves. As long as we're not in tight confines. Of course, if we are in tight confines, then the vampire warriors would have been the best one. And, oh, no. We've got a bandit group. All right, well, uh, you guys can go up there and enjoy it. Uh, as we check out what's going on down here. And it does, in fact, look like we're going to end up going inside. Oh, okay. We may have a puzzle level to play around with. Uh, right. I will investigate that in a bit. 
for now. Dwarves, enjoy. Wow, you're fast. Let's have a watch at how this goes. The dwarf swings his sword at the scale of the king. The attack is harmless. The scale of the king bites the dwarf. The dwarf's head is bitten off. The dwarf is killed. You've got a thing about biting heads. Uh, and again. Hmm. Is it because you want more heads to make a bigger you? I see. I'm starting to understand. You just like biting off heads. You, you, the, the, the head mass must grow, apparently. Very well. Uh, everyone can just, you know, ruffle through here and uh, eliminate everyone. Uh, the kobolds are gone. Oh, okay, so it might need to go down in order to find out our allies on this map. Hello? Oh, go up? Ah, ha, ha. All right, so. Mm, let's, let's not. This... We've got to push the boulders into the holes to, to access the doors. At the end of it, it's something good. Uh, let's not take an entire massive party there. We'll go back there with Evil Friend later on and, and tackle that. But I don't see our allies. This fills me with great sadness. Maybe they are at the end of this. Oh, that might be the reward you get allies. Fair enough. Right, well, that's wiped out. Well, we haven't found them. Okay, well, we're going to head back then. Let's just go straight back. And let's pillage the everything. There we go. Warhammer. Bunches of random gubbins there. Some bandits pillaged. Not our bandits, though. They're safe and sound. And a witch. And many, many, many slain. Or rather, two slain vampire warriors. <laughs> and we don't get their things back. And yes, I'm still going on. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, right. Now, that actually worked remarkably well. How are we doing in here? Only four more helms left to go. Fantastic. Also, how are we doing at the very bottom of the mines? Let's go and have a quick peek. Got some gold. We've got... Ah, oh, fantastic. Adamantium. Oh, wow. I'm not going to lie. I'm filled with the fear. I'm not sure if this is brave. But I'm pretty certain it's stupid. Regardless, to the victor goes the spoils. And there's an awful lot of armor that I'm going to be able to make there. I'll be able to make a lot of uh, vampire warriors fully kitted out. In fact, juggernauts fully kitted out as well. Which is even more attractive right now. Ah, what? <laughs> Scallywags. No, I don't want to pay them. When will they get the message? I'm never going to pay. And yes, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. I do know that we haven't yet uh, taken the, the next level up. It's fine. We'll get there in a moment. Uh, let's get all of this branching out from here. Since we need to branch out there anyway. And, uh, well, actually, we'll branch off from the top, since I know that there's going to be a path there. And then whatever we've got down here, we'll just reach that last bit. Okay, that's an amazing find. Really, really happy about, about that. Okay, level 12. What are we going to go for? Magical weapons, master embalming. I don't really feel this one's important for us. I really don't actually. But two handed weapons might be where we're where it's at. Imagine go for an adamantine warhammer or battle axe. But there's also magical weapons too. Uh let's go for two handed though. I think it's time. Alright. With that done, let's go back to the top and see if we can't get a couple of two handed weapons here. It's fourteen damage. Sure. Make me ten of them, please. And we'll see if we can get some really nice ones. Crack on. Now, in terms of the next Juggernaut, we're going to want Permanent Darkness. 
See, this is the problem. Is if I make them perma permanent darkness, and I... Okay. No. No matter how big that that request becomes, I'm just going to kill you. Uh, we'll get the permanent darkness. We will take wings so that they don't drown for any particular reason. That... Mm. So tempting not to. But this makes them immune to so much. And everything else in that group is, is flying, so it's... Yeah, I think Permanent Darkness, Wings, and then we'll just go for the melee boost. There we are. The extra head would be useful, but... Actually, you know what? Maybe... Maybe extra arms, actually, considering... They already seem to have quite a high natural training limit. You've barely gotten to your training limit, so how about I tell you not to guard for the time being? Not until you're... Actually, I'll say that you're allowed to, but you're not going to do it for now. There we are. That'll take care of it. Alright. Now, the nice thing about these uh, balsams is because they're being loaded onto the shelf immediately, they're available for me to immediately use. I don't need to juggle things around at all. So we want the... Extra wings, permanent darkness, and extra arms. Maybe we should make a couple of these. Got quite a few extra arms. I need some more ex uh, permanent darknesses, though. Let's make a group of them, I guess. Uh, what is permanent darkness? Let's get... Sure, eight of them. I'm not going to make eight juggernauts. That's a little bit too much. But still... This should make quite uh, an interesting group, I think. Uh, should I make some more zombies? We've got 13, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like we're getting all that much moved around. Oh, actually, I take that back. We have moved a decent amount now. Uh, we've also got a couple of humans to pillage as well. Right, so we're going to have a decent amount of bones at this point. I might, in fact, be able to put together another Juggernaut. Uh, sorry, another Skeletal King. Got a Zombie King there, but... Mm, the darkness would be the problem, I feel. Alright, I've got a good feeling that we're going to need... Yeah. We only have 155. Never mind then. I'm not going to make one if I can't make it the best that it can be. So we'll just have to wait on that one. Right, we've got... Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. Stop. Ooh, that was almost bad. Right, let's take you down here. Thank you. Right, you go and enjoy yourself. Okay. And with that, let's make sure that you're not guarding so that you focus on your training. You can wield battle axes in each hand? Well. That changes some things. Not gonna lie. Changes quite- Oh, no. I'm perfectly fine with, with that. Yeah. You can- I am A-OK -okay with you dual wielding battle axes in exchange for not having quite as much defense. As long as I can get you uh, some decent protection in terms of adamantium uh, armor, then we're good. Let's have a look. Yep, we're still able to keep going. And, well, I mean, yes, we're going to go for that. Now, imagine you equipped with adamantium battle axes. <sighs> Right, locking that door. Come grab all of the good loots. The good loots are available to be grabbed. There we go. Alright, let's have a look at what kind of damage you do with your... Well, I mean, you haven't got any training yet. Training limit of 12. It's kind of paltry for the moment, but... I'm sure it's okay, really. Rude. Maybe I need to move the beds in there. I guess that's a possibility. 
Uh, yeah, it's good. Really? No, no, no. You need, you need another battle axe as well, please. Thank you. Okay. Right, okay, I'm going to allow my juggernauts to fully equip. But that seems to be a pretty solid idea. I'm going to make another juggernaut. Maybe a couple. Let's get a few of you. If we went for four, it would give us five juggernauts. Permanent darkness, extra arms, and wings. Good to go. Make me four juggernauts. Oh, this is going to be grand. The army grows. Oh, dear. We are under attack by the Lizardmen of Enstawi. Now, that could be... Yes, it is them, the main villain. Let's have a look. What are we, what are we dealing with? Uh, oh, not too much, actually. Uh, they're poison resistant, sure, but they're, they're really not a threat, actually. Especially... Uh, where is our skeletal juggernaut? Let's make sure that you're outside. Or rather, Skeletal King. Let's make sure that you're outside with everyone else. Hop. Oh, have we already finished the fight? Oh, I looked away. Uh, my bad. Okay, I guess you can go home. Right, so uh, that puts things very firmly in uh, perspective, I feel. Right, we are starting to dig up some of the adamantite. And if we head all the way down, we'll discover that we've also found a new area with underground trees and an, at least one interesting item there. Uh, it's going to take us a little while to get through all of this, though. Uh, on that note, let's go ahead and grab Evil Friend, Control. Let's head all the way down, Evil Friend. Why do you always go for that one? Uh, wishful thinking. You're like, oh, you want me to go to bed? Okay. Oh, you don't. Fair enough. Uh, let's get all the way down, then have a quick peek at what we can see around here. Let's go all the way up. Now, usually, there's nothing to see. But every now and then... In fact, the only time that there has been something to see is the one time that I didn't bother looking, so... Uh, I guess I'm a little bit cautious about it now. Right, you're good. Thank you. We've got an awful lot of stuff to gather there. Uh, we're under attack by bandits. Uh, it really does not matter. Uh, still doesn't matter, I'm afraid. There we go. Alright, well, given that, how much more are we building? Nothing more at the moment. Uh, okay. Any more this time? I mean, they're a little bit stronger, actually. It looks like, and they're, they're teaming up with the bandits, it seems. Clever. Wise, in fact. Right, I would like you to move up here. And you should stay there, because there's nothing else for you to do. Right, there we go. We're going to open that up, and everyone can have at it. Grab whatever gear you think is better than the stuff you've already got. I imagine the Juggernauts are all going to make a, make a move for that, honestly. Right. We've still got something over there that we haven't had a look at, and I'm kind of tempted to just burrow through rather than go through the bandits, because I want the bandits to persist. But at the same time, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to bite off more than I can chew. Though, given the kinds of units we've got here, perhaps what I'm really afraid of is that in some way I'm going to make it so that the bandits can't easily get through to us, or can get through to us too easily, and they... Um, oh. Right. An adamantite golem. I would like to have a look at said adamantite golem, if I could. Okay. Tribal here, killing will stop. Alright, let's, uh, let's leave. And keep leaving. And I'm also going to make this area forbidden. Because I'm going to need to send someone much stronger down here. Alright. Uh... Should we send the Skeletal King? I feel as if we should. I don't think the Skeletal King is really needed up here, but we'll see. Am I actually being attacked? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, fine. Let's go down then. It's going to take me a while to get down. I, I hear snoring. Hmm. Interesting. 
too far. Alright, let's get ourselves all the way over here. And straight down through that area. Well, actually, we can probably explore this area. Uh, digs the hard rock. Yes, I, I see what you're doing. That's good. Now, can I get down the... No, I can't, actually. Interesting. I was expecting that if I was in control that it would allow me to do it, but uh, apparently not. All right then, Zom uh, Scandal King. Or rather, Apple Fumble. Need us to slay some golems. Back up. Force them to face me one at a time. They are slow, which I suppose is fair. Am I biting their heads off? Can't actually tell. I would love to believe that we are. We are simply chomping faces. Hi. Uh, the adam arm is bit is bitten off. You kick the automatic golem. Neck is broken. They're blind. Well, I mean, such is the fate of all who oppose us, I guess. So far, we haven't lost anything important in this. There we go. Let's just move around, make sure there's nothing else. All right, then, Adamite Golem. That's it. Wow. There's a decent bit of Adamite all there as well from the Golems. That was not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's a shame that we lost yet another zombie, though. I feel like that's going to start to be an issue. But we can pillage the adamantite golems. 288 adamantite. Right. Locking that door. Opening that one. Time for us to get making some things. Now, the battle axes. It has to be the battle axes, realistically. Let's make a bunch of those. Um, they take so much to make. Still, we've got five juggernauts who are each going to be wielding one. Uh, sorry, two, so let's go a little bit further than that as well. Leave a little bit of wiggle room. After that, I want at least five... Well, actually, shields are unnecessary. Um, at least five gloves. Well, let's go for ten gloves, ten pairs of boots... Let's go for several helms. Uh, we'll go for 20 helms if we can. Yes, I know there's obnoxiously large amounts needed. But I want plenty of opportunity for us to make uh, high-quality versions of those. And hopefully the zombies will continue gathering things. Now, on that note, let's go ahead and make some bombs for the zombies in particular. I want another... Let's say 10 zombie miners. Oh, uh, actually, maybe. Let's not jump the gun, shall we? I got the same right this time. Uh, five, remove permanent slowness. We want... Do I need them to be able to carry large amounts? I'm not going to say that we do. Let's go instead for the uh, permanent darkness. Five of those. And then the digging boost. I think that should be fine. Uh, digging boost. There we go. Let's get all of those made. And then we'll have five more zombies available. <laughs> wow. That was that was just piteous, really. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I'm not over-preparing. <laughs> just a wee bit. Just a tiny, tiny smidge. Let's have a look at our juggernauts. So, the unnamed ones are, are uh, combat juggernauts, basically. Uh, they are all guarding right now, that's fine. Though they can go outside, I guess. Yes, they can. So I'm going to allow them to, but you're not. You cannot go outside. The others absolutely can, however. They can choose where they want to guard. Since they're going to be casting... A dark shroud wherever they go it should be fine I'm fine for you to keep throwing your lives away honestly our archers I honestly just having archers as guards seems to be a ridiculously powerful move 
ridiculously powerful. We've done everything there? Yes, we have. Okay, so we are going to want five new zombie workers, and they are going to want permanent darkness. They are going to not be slow, and they are going to be good at digging. Let's go. Now, on this point, you are going to get confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying that all zombies look the same. I am saying all zombie workers look the same. It's not my fault! Uh, right, control you. Let's slip back through here. And... Oh, damn it. I'm going to need to control you. Make sure you don't go walkies. Go on then. There we are. All is well. How are we doing here? I've got a fair old amount of axes made, actually, most of them, which is glorious. What are you... Ca oh, the, the, I thought they had some sort of dark light torch, but no. Again, some of them will have torches, some of them won't. Uh, on that note, let's go ahead and make a batch of hand torches for those who want it. Oh, the archwood bows. I forgot about that. Let's make them. I completely forgot about the archwood. That is going to be nice. I do wonder if maybe I shouldn't have the... Uh, I can't. If they've got battle axes, they can't have the bows. But that would be so good, though. I think we're actually going to want to make um, some more focused archers as well. Though, with what we've got right now, the only real upgrade would be to... We'll still have them flying, but give them double um, greater archery boost so they do even more archery damage wrote a limerick about the pillaging of lizard men I can't imagine they're very happy about that alright let's head on down see what it's like down Ooh, okay that is a very wide open space interesting in the extreme Very interesting. All right. Well, I prefer to have triple layers when it comes to my bridges. Just to ensure that you don't get punted off in some extremely unfortunate manner. But this is going to be a very interesting place. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to bring Evil Friend down here right now. Evil Friend, we're going for a wander. And very soon after that, it's fine. We don't need to watch it. We've already seen what happens. They all die. Uh, let's keep on going down all the way. Hopefully we can get another Skeletal King very soon. Right, here we go. Now, my worry, and why I'm taking Evil Friend down here to have a look first, is Elementals. No Elementals so far. Okay, good. Because as we've seen, those elementals are brutally effective. It's fine. Uh, let's see in here. I wonder if they'll wait for us to let them know. Oh no, they're already dead. Those little wisps there. It seems that, that happens. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. Have you got time to die? No. Let's leave. Okay, so I'm going to want to bring my... Ah, uh, they're following. Evil friend, you need to not be there anymore. What I need, really, is my skeletal archers. Uh, no, no, you're not... What? What kind of nonsense is that? Um... Control. Let's wait down here for everyone to arrive. It's fine. The warrior should be able to handle it, I would imagine. Or at least I hope so. Are they on their way? Yes, they are. Good. Let's head on down. Right, now, hopefully... Okay, so the... Wow! Zombie? That is amazing. Well done, you. 
But let's take the whole group down here just to clear this area. I should really have brought them down here to begin with. If I'm honest, the moment there was a potential of elementals, I should have been dealing with it directly. Tribe of Bats is removed. All right. Okay, we can head back up then. That's everything we needed to clear. All right, you're good to go. Actually, I'll make sure that none of you are over the lava before I do that. Just to be certain, because, you know, we've all seen what happens with water. I have no reason to believe that lava is any better behaved. Right. Uh, but actually, that's more or less it. I'll go ahead and dig through it, just to, for completeness sake, really. But other than that, not really necessary. Ooh. Actually, one last thing we can check. Just for completeness sake again. Let's go ahead and poke our heads in here. Okay, all done. Right. So, I would say that it is now time to continue down. But, let's head on and see where we can attack next. I think it may actually be time to take on that main villain. Wasn't expecting it, but... I'm on board with it, I'm going to be honest. Right, have we cleaned everything up out there? Not really. We're getting to it, but it's going to take some time. How are the Juggernauts doing, though, in terms of their overall capability? Uh, ah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have the Juggernauts, uh, at least these five, join this group. I think we might want to take our 18 there out to deal with the, the lizard folk. Uh, how are we going over here? I've got a couple more things to, to build, but by and large, it's good. Let's open it up. I've got to take the, the zombie apprentice in, otherwise all sorts of things happen. Go ahead and equip as much as you can. What are you doing? No. There are plenty of other places you can sleep, mate. Right, let's find out. I love how quite often the rats are just in there with the vampires and, and there isn't any fighting that happens until someone else pokes their head in and suddenly sees... Oh, they're bats! Uh, sorry, rats, rather. Uh, right, let's have a look at our juggernauts, see how much damage they're capable of doing. Uh, we're still waiting on some of the adamantite items, but generally speaking, I'm going to say that we're probably in a good place. Uh, right, you just don't need it as much. And the zombie definitely doesn't need it as much. My lord. Uh, other than that, though, you're going to need something. And boots. Has anyone got any adamantite boots? Sadly, oh, actually, yeah, one person. All right, there we go. And we might make a couple more, but odds are fairly high that that won't be the case. Uh, let's see if they'll go and grab their gear. And then we're going to be heading out. A couple of folk heading in to grab the last little bits and bobs. I think we're probably good. All right, then. Let's grab the team, and we're going to head out and take on one of the main enemies. All right. This is a ranged distiller, resistance of fire, flying, source of darkness, can see in the dark, telepathic, infant carry capacity, rider, undead, merry. Let's go. Oh, this is a different bio. I've not really seen this before. Just as well we brought the darkness, oh my lord. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and buff everyone. Not that we really need to, I suppose, but... I feel bad. It's kind of giving me... Uh, I, I don't know why, but it's kind of giving me Secret of Evermore vibes. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, in the second world, the Colosseum and uh, kind of a mishmash of uh, more desert environs. See what's going on in there. Poor goats. Uh, let's see what we've got down the bottom. Nothing too interesting just yet. 
There's some enemies over there. So many tribes of humans being wiped out. I have to put them on the endangered species list. Right, there we go. Little oasis, I like that. Now these uh, kind of huts used to exist for certain creatures in the original game when it was just a single map. Every now and then I do, I do kind of miss that particular style of the game. Though it, there's so much more to do now with the multiple maps, but there is a part of me that, that misses that a little bit. Hard rock there. This is sandstone. I wonder if... Kind of nice to build with that, if I'm honest. I think that may actually be it. We've just taken out one of the main villains. <laughs> More or less by accident, really. There was very little to do. All right, let's go home then. There we are. And let's pillage them. Everything. And you. And of course you. And there. And the back cave as well. My goodness. Imagine we popped out just as a bunch of bandits were going through. That would be unfortunate timing for them, wouldn't it? Right. Well, that is definitely given us enough body parts. Add up to 199. We didn't add any ant queen bones. Let's remove a camel bone in exchange for an ant queen bone. In fact, let's remove some bandit bones in exchange for dwarf skulls. There we are. Continue the construction of the new skeletal king. Please and indeed thank you. Really? Come on now. <laughs> so much overkill. You <laughs> it's never going to happen. I love how the more we beat you, the higher your demands go. But let's have a look. 129 uh, combat this time. You're made of 20 arms, 52 legs, and 132 heads. So, and you don't fly. But you've got the ability speed. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So it really does look like the, the different body parts you put into it. Obviously, we didn't have any uh, any wings to add to you. Plus 10 damage against spellcasters. Yeah, there are some very interesting things going on here. Uh, Apple Fumble had more legs. But I think it's largely random which way it goes, whether it's defense or attack that it gives. But the abilities... Combat experience. Ah, that's why we're getting a little bit there. Training. Can you train? I don't think so. But uh, that's very, very interesting. But unfortunately, you do not fly. I should have paid attention to that and tried to make sure I got some vampire wings. Uh, well, I got bones from uh, from bats, rather. Uh, vampire wings, my lord. But, uh, I guess we could bring you along. Sure. Let's not, let's not leave you out, eh? But we have slain the main enemy, which means we've got uh, magical weapons unlocked. What kind of magical weapons will we make? I don't know yet. Uh, I could make... Well, no, I can't, but it'd be nice if I could. Um, there are no magical versions of adamantine weapons, but there is a magical staff. Plus nice spell damage. Sure, let's go ahead and get that. And I think with that, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. We have covered some ground today. I've now got access to this unknown ally. In fact, I've got access to every point on the map at this point. We only need to take out the main villains. And realistically, they're the only things left. Though each unknown ally might have some... Like, might have a long cave full of of uh, nasties for us to best but at this point we're starting to field some s really really powerful units i am so gutted though about the <laughs> i'm still sad about losing the vampire warriors i felt that they could really really become something powerful but i mean realistically i mean against the juggernauts they are because of their high levels but against the skeleton kings there's just really no comparison to be made absolutely no comparison right but that's going to be it for now 
I do hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope that you're going to join me for the next. Uh, I'm going to allow our skeletal juggernaut out, hopefully. Let's uh, take you up there. There we are, and then that's all done there. But uh, that is going to be it from me. I hope to see you in the next. As always, though, I look forward to any feedback you have down in the comments below and a like on the video. Let me know that you're interested in not just seeing more Keeper Roguelike in the future, but games like Keeper Roguelike in the future. But until next time, do take care, everyone.